this is the battery out of a silver crest portable vacuum cleaner uh 22.2 volts 2400 milliamp hours i've marked the two screws which have the security torx heads the others were all just standard cross point comes out of here really nicely actually strange that it's got places for eight cells and only six are occupied but more relevant than that are the voltages let's have a look so uh, b0 to b1 4.2 volts this has just been on charge b1 to b2 4.0 volts 2 to 3 3.2 volts so 2 to 3 is low 3 to 4 4.0 4 to 5 4.2 and 5 to 6 4.0 so certainly this one 3 to 2 is pretty much empty now does that mean that it's dead or has it just gone out of balance now I'm going to take the attitude that it's just gone out of balance and somewhere here I've got a balancer so if I solder this across three of the cells this is a three cell balancer and leave it for several hours I'm just hoping that I can bring that cell two to three back into balance that's the connector put on now it's just occurred to me that this of course is only going to rebalance three of the cells and then they'll be out of balance with the other three cells I do have two of these balancers uh, in fact I've got a four cell balancer really need a six cell balancer for this now I think you can overlap these but I don't know that wouldn't make six cells that might make five cells but anyway I'm just going to put this on here see what happens when I plug that in and yes they've lit up so I've deliberately put the low cell in the middle of the three the two outer lights have come on which is good because that means it's transferring from the two cells either side of the dodgy cell into the low cell so now I just wait for these lights to go off could take several hours so the question is is this rebalancing let's turn my meter on and it was this cell two to three Oh, that's up to 3.4 and a half and that should be rising because that's the cell that's receiving all of the charge from its neighbors yeah so I'll just wait for that to get up to they probably all settle at around 3.7 I guess now, of course there are some others here that are 4.2 so it's not going to be a full balancing solution unless I get a six way one of these things but it might help at the moment the vacuum won't run for more than a few seconds so once again two to three my low voltage cell has now come up to 3.55 uh, two to one one of the source cells has dropped to 3.9 and of course the other one whoops mustn't touch that three to four is also down at 3.9 so and this thing's getting quite warm so it's definitely transferring yeah that's quite warm definitely transferring charge from these outer two cells to the middle one which is the problem this might partially rejuvenate this and if i had a six-way balancer it's almost worth getting a six-way balancer and just tucking it down in this space and then this thing will always be in balance that could work so the cell balancer is still running the cells are a bit closer matched now but because it's not a six cell balancer and i need to get all the cells to the same voltage i'm actually using this little two amp lithium charger from a power bank and i'm going to individually i'm doing cell six at the moment charge each of the six cells up to the maximum 4.2 so that they are then all completely top balanced so i'll go through each one until this little light goes off 
Well, one of these lights has gone off on the balancer, so we know that um, two cells are the same. I'll just wait for the other one to go off. It has been a few hours. I think this thing starts at a high current, and then, yes, it's not very warm now, and then the current uh, kind of scales down. But I will then, once that's balanced, I'll take all this off, and I'll just carry on with the 2 amp uh, lithium charger, this little thing here, and top off all the six cells. And then we'll give it a test. And with all that done, this is now a fully working vacuum cleaner, and the battery reports four bars. Result.